So there's been this trend going on on TikTok and Instagram Reels. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you how to do it as well. I would call it the Kendrick Lamar Radiohead mashup beat AI video effect, but it's actually quite simple. So I'm going to promise you guys jumping into Premiere Pro, but, but first you need footage. What I suggest is you have a pretty far wide angle. This is, I'm shooting at 16 mils on APS-C. You're looking at 30 mils full frame equivalent and nothing changes. The left to the right, make sure nothing is, you know, in the way. I have the clip of that I shot before. I noticed my laptop was not closed. That little bugged me, but you know, rinse and repeat and you get better each and every time making sure if you're going to stay in the middle it's like the clone effect stay in the middle do not move your arm left and right you're going to mess up the shot once you get your that simple let's say 10 to 20 second footage for your tiktok or reels or shorts you want to put that into premiere pro all right it's really simple so to break it down you go into this nested sequence here and you'll start to see the magic behind the scenes so all you need to do first is you need to understand the masking effect. So if I take off this layer right here, all I did was I went into export frame and I went to Photoshop and I select just this section, right click, select the inverse. I hit generative fill and I'm like, put me in a uh, office. Hit generate, let Photoshop do its thing, give it some time. And there is your first scene. You just have to be careful here. As you can see, I did not properly select my mask. There is a little of that transparent background. So all you need to do to fix that is to zoom in a bit and just be careful on your mask selection. Do this, select inverse, generate fill. Once you have your AI generated fill, as you can see, all you need to do is export this as a PNG. And that AI effect is just a bunch of PNG photos, one or two seconds per still, per second within your timeline. You take that still, you plop it into Premiere, and then you'll start having the different backgrounds being changed, as you can see right here. I just zoomed in a bit there just to make it a little more cinematic. But all you're looking for is taking your initial, which is so important, your base layer, your raw footage, is making sure that is cropped. And there's different ways that you can crop your footage, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So I took my initial footage here. I used the mask tool. All right, boom, 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 mask tool. And then you export that entire video file, making sure it is within those parameters. I did it within After Effects. I exported it with a transparent background. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on how do you export videos to making sure it has a transparent background. And then once you export that as a transparent background, you will be left with a video looking like this, All right? So this right here is my entire video, which I just used in After Effects and I rendered it as a transparent background, All right? Drag and drop this wherever. And then all I'm doing is going to Photoshop. I'll show you guys in real time. Go into Photoshop. This is the beta, by the way, the 2023 beta. Drag and drop that export that I just did within Premiere Pro and see it's a transparent background. Zoom in a bit, go into my selection tool, marquee tool, making sure nothing is cut off right here. Right click, select inverse, generative fill, generate, and you wait and you wait until Photoshop AI creates this other layer for you. As you can see right here, there's a little bit of a glitch going on here. 
with my laptop. Look, in hindsight, I should have closed my laptop, which is why the raw footage is so important. Same with over here, but for the most part, if you zoom out, no one can really tell. And you can go over here and you have your different looks. And then the important part is you go down to your first layer here, your base layer, unclick that, you export that as a PNG, test photo one, two, three, now you have this black layer here. Drag it on top. And then go one, two frames. All right. And bam, I just made a fake AI background. Besides the little laptop here and the left and right of me, well, you can't tell. And then you just rinse and repeat over and over. And it does get a little tedious, but the final effect of it is pretty damn dope, in my opinion. So what I do now is I turn off that top layer. Right, I, I can literally drag this entire layer out where I have my own fake background, right? Let me turn this layer on to have another background. And all I'm doing is just collecting a bunch of these backgrounds. And I'm treating it like a green screen. So this is the future, just the beginning of AI video incorporating into our own workflow. This is essentially the cutout effect. All you need to do is worry about masking and treating it as the AI background, as the green screen. Once you understand that concept, all you need to do is just rinse and repeat, making sure you're using the cloning effect and there's no differences in lighting and movement and all you're doing is just changing the background. It is really that simple. And this is just the beginning. If you want to get serious and learn Premiere Pro or After Effects, link in the description, help me help you. And you're watching a Broke Vision Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.